Hey everybody, so my seven I'm gonna show you a very simple short instructional video on some of the things we see that are kind of common errors around you know, toning up the bum and the hips. A lot of girls at the moment coming to us who want to see that, you know, change the Kim Kardashian booty. To do that, you gotta get your hips moving properly first. So, first things we're gonna do is talk about what's involved. Adrian's gonna go down into a hip flexor stretch. The main function of your bum muscles is to extend, which is open your hips. Maybe we'll go on the opposite knee so people can see that better. So the main is to open the hips and to rotate the hip, okay? They're two of the main things that your bum muscles work. So if those movements are inhibited or don't happen properly, you're not gonna get the full range of motion, i.e. you're not gonna recruit all of the bum muscles you're trying to work. So we wanna stretch out the hip flexors quite a lot to do that. It shows a common error for a second, Adrian. We see a lot of people going into this overextended position, which looks good for Instagram, but doesn't stretch the muscles that we're trying to target. So we want to tighten in, and we're going to open up through that hip, get length out of the hip, and even reach that left hand up overhead. So you should now gently push through that without losing that lower back. So you're squeezing with your bum to push your hip forward. I would recommend this stretch to be hit a number of times a week, pre-glute workout, but also just to loosen the hips out in the evening if we've been seated for long periods of time obviously working both sides. Second stretch we're going to talk about is a, an advanced pigeon stretch. Adrian's going to go one knee down on the floor, so you're on your hands and knees. It's not like your traditional pigeon, so you're going to take your foot across the opposite knee, so we haven't rehearsed this. Again, we're going the opposite leg actually, Adrian. So once this knee is here, the goal is to keep the knee directly below the hip. You'll see Adrian slightly ahead of it, so bring your body forward a little bit and you're gonna just relax into this stretch. Now imagine all of the weight of your body is going through this bone here and it's coming out through the back of your hip. So you have to take a breath in. Remember we use our breath to calm parasympathetic tone, to bring uh, calmness to our muscle or an area that we want to relax. So we're gonna open up the hips by taking a big breath in and as you breathe out, let that weight just sink down. You can even drop down onto your elbows like a plank. Don't go backwards, stay there. And we're letting that hip, now you feel it, right? So you're letting that hip just relax. So improving that hip capsule and how it functions. So we're getting a better position with this femur head into the hip capsule so that the entire hip moves better. Once we've, I like to sit into that for about 60 seconds to get the hip moving better. It's a great stretch for those who suffer with lower back issues as well. And it's a great way to help take that kind of muscle tension out of the, after a, a, a big session. Now, glute activation work, back onto the hands and knees. So like I said, rotation of the hip and extension of the hip are two big movements. We're gonna talk about fire hydrants. Fire hydrants bracing up through the tummy, not losing that lower back. Imagine there's a wall here. Adrian's gonna take her knee out to the side with control and back down. Focusing on this portion of the bum and up towards the top, not letting that knee travel forward. Common error that we see here is girls leading with the foot to try and get height. It's not about the height of your foot, it's about the height of your knee and not rolling to the side, okay? Really important one. If you wanna add resistance to this, we don't have to do it, Adrian. You can stick a band around your knees so that you've got added resistance at the end range of that movement. Second little activation exercise, a donkey kick, staying tight through the tummy. We're gonna take that knee, we're gonna bring it forward. I like to bring it through the full range and then you're gonna kick back and up, nice and steady. So Adrian's gonna show you a good Instagram video which is sticking a bum out there and looks good, but what we want is to keep the core active, braced up, not leaning to the side, and just kicking straight to the ceiling, focusing on engaging the entire bigger muscle of the bum here as we do that. So you're minimizing the movement through there. Once we've hit both sides in that activation work, we can then go into some single and double leg uh, glute, glute work. So onto your back, Adrian, please. We're gonna do some bridging. Again, a common error is that overextended lower back as you bridge, so you're sticking out like so and bringing your hips off the floor to try and get extra range and you'll see people reaching and reaching and reach. So what we wanna do is set like Adrian just did there. Do you know how to engage your pelvic floor muscles? Guys and girls, if you're doing a pee and you need to stop mid P, that's what we're after. So we're gonna engage the pelvic floor, tilt through the pelvis, we're gonna slide off the floor vertebrae by vertebrae to this top position, making sure the both bone muscles are working, okay? When you're bridging, that's where you start, then you add weight. If you can't do that properly, don't add weight in yet. Once you've got your double leg work, we're gonna see how good you are in a single leg version. So up at the hips, keep those hips level. So keeping an eye on the hip bones, Adrian's gonna just slowly peel one foot off the floor and see if the hip drops. Okay, change sides, keep the hips level. No movement through the hips. We'll let her progress into single leg work now. Single leg work, feet are off the floor. You're gonna lower down, keeping the pelvis engaged, squeezing with the bum on this leg, and we're gonna go for 10 either side or so to get you moving on that, and change sides, okay? Just so you can see what's involved. So there's some simple drills. Open up and mobilize the hips with your hip flexor stretch and your advanced pigeon stretch. 
get into external rotation with your fire hydrants and then bring in your bridging. Once you get that started, you've got your bum muscles fired up. Now you do that and you get going into your squats, get going into your deadlifts, get going into your sprints. That is most important when it comes to building out stronger hips, healthier hips and toning up that area as well.